Hey guys, before we move on to the video, please like, share and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to receive regular updates from our channel and In today's tutorial, we will discuss programs under the topic of basics in code cutup. In the sixth question, an input of two integers has been given and we are required to print a value with respect to iterating the second value. So we get the input as it's mentioned in the question and we would use a for loop for executing the output one below another. So we attain the input using the map function and split function and we declare a for loop where we limit the range till the given input n and we print the required integer which would be executed n time. Seventh question is a pretty similar and simple question which we have witnessed earlier. Similar to the question, we initialize an input a to get the input and we are required to execute the numbers one below another ranging from the given input as it is shown in the sample output. So using for loop from the index of 1 comma a plus 1 where we require to print the values ranging from 1 to the last number of the input. And finally we print i where the code is expected to print individual values one below another. And let's move to the next question. In the 8th question we are required to print the minimum of the given 10 numbers. In this question we would be using the built in function minimum in order to print the minimum value in a list. Here we would not require any specific amount of limitations to the input values. So we use the input syntax for an array and we just use the print minimum function of the array and hence we would get the expected output. Now let's move to the next question. In the ninth question we are required to print the sum of the values ranging from the given input and to print the same in a single line. First things first we declare an input value n and we declare a for loop ranging from 1 to n plus 1. Here we specify 1 comma n plus 1 in order to remove 0 and attain the last number of the range and for each iteration we increment i in the value of r so thus it would print the sum of the values in the range at the last and hence all the test cases will be passed. Now let's move on to the next question. In the 10th question we are required to print the values from n to 1 where we print the values in descending order below each other, below one another. So in the for loop, we declare the range from n where the number should be initialized to the last number to the first number. So we use n comma 0 comma minus 1 and then we print the series in order to get the expected output. And now let's move to the next question. In this question, we are required to get an input of two values which is base and height of an Let's assume it as a right angle triangle and using the formula we would print the area of the triangle finally. Here we use a map and split function and we print the value of the area in the second line. These are pretty similar questions and we will be discussing advanced concepts and complex programs sooner. Thank you.